everyone and good afternoon figured we would uh kind of take a check into uh, what's going on here with uh this 318.1 progress considering it's been just about a week so yeah we're looking at this week in star citizen right here april 11th now the dev tracker hasn't been any updates for like five days so i mean this is going to kind of just uh reiterate what's been going on first things first wanted to give you an in-depth update on the continuing work on alpha 318 and its upcoming patches Last week, which we already know, the team's focused on load testing and validating the game changes that went into 318.1, primarily focused on the ASOP delivery feature, which reduces the size of the player's default inventories and thus the size of the global database substantially. This is aiming to alleviate some of the entitlement issues you all have been experiencing. In addition, on the infrastructure side, an updated set of tools tailored for 318 load testing will as virtual service clients were augmented and deployed to improve the resilience of the system overall. This is a huge step for service testing as it allows the publishing teams to perform large scale traffic tests automatically by having those virtual clients perform the full login flow, go through entitlement processing, request ship deliveries, etc. Okay, so with these updated tools, publishing teams are now able to validate whether the system functions or not, as it should under different conditions without needing the QA groups or PTU deployments. Also opens the door for chaos destructive testing, which some of you may have already noticed over the weekend where random services are killed or restarted while the workloads are running. This enables us to ensure learning and recovering functions as it should. It also facilitates discovery, regression, and validation of issues that happen only under higher concurrency that are typically very hard for us to reproduce even on PTU. So anyway, uh, armed with the data of the last few weeks, and yeah, it's been a few weeks, the team has also spent considerable amount of time analyzing and optimizing the cloud footprint of the game to resize, adjust the layout of clusters and regions where the game hosts services. This is all due to the needs of Alpha 3.18's infrastructure being a lot higher than previous game versions. Well, yeah, we understand that given all the uh, issues that have arisen, and you know, and it is understandable. Anyways, they say the long and short of it is the team has made significant progress towards the launch of 3.18.1, which of course we do know is going to have a full complete wipe as well as 3.18.2. They hope to have this in our hands very shortly. Notice that, shortly. No uh, mention being <laughs> given as to when. Probably better they don't. Uh, we once again thank you for all your continued patience, support, and understanding as our teams continue their efforts. So that's the skinny of it, everybody. Yeah. Um, 318.1 will come when it comes. Yo, know, but knowing there's gonna be a full wipe with 318.1 and 318.2. I think it would just be more practical if they just put, put them both into one package and just get it all delivered out on the PU so everyone can get back to their gameplay and not have to worry about it. I mean, what good is 318.1 gonna be when we know it's just gonna be another full wipe with 318.2? I mean, really, people aren't even gonna wanna play. I mean, I haven't actively been in the game. I've been kind of trying to follow what's going on. This is the most current update there's been so far towards 318.1 and what's going on. So other than that, hope you guys are uh, doing good out there. And if you are playing Star Citizen, hope you're having a good time doing it. And hopefully we see 318.1 uh, here any time in the near future. Guys, keep safe out there. Peace.